Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning how to cut, copy, and paste video clips. We'll also be learning about the razor tool for trimming uh, different video and media clips. So let's get started. I'm going to drag and drop a few things in. I already imported these previously from the past tutorial, but I'm just going to drag this down to my timeline. Like we've learned, if I hit the spacebar button, I can just play and watch this in my sequence viewer. I'm going to resize this. I always do this. Actually, I'm just going to close. I'm going to hit the X here and close the effects, and I'm going to close the media viewer. So now I'm just viewing sequence, timeline, and my media pool or my project window. Um, so let's say I want to cut this down to only be a two second clip. Well, what I can do, I can look and see it up here in the time. I can go to where two seconds is, and I can left click on the playhead and move that right to two seconds. And then um, I can come down here, oh, and I can uh, grab the razor tool. So if we click on this razor tool, we left click, now it changes our icon and we see a little picture of a razor. And if we hover right over this red line, it turns white. And if we click, it cuts um, both the audio and the video portion of this media clip. So now I can uh, go back to my pointer tool, is that what it's called? The pointer tool, and I can click on the second part, and I can just hit the delete key, and that will be gone. And now I can just go back to the beginning of this and play, and it will just play two seconds. And then it goes to black, so that's all we have. Maybe that's all I wanna use for that video clip. So I can bring in this next part, maybe it's just my intro here, so I put it right. So, oh, this is a good point too. I have snapping enabled, so look what's happening. If I zoom in and I try to drag this down, I'm only getting it right to the playhead. So I have a tiny little bit of a gap in here. What's that? That's going to do. Do you see that gap? I can zoom in. So there's a, a, a gap right here in my video. And I didn't really want that, but that's because snapping is enabled. And so when I, when I drag this, it was snapping to the playhead instead of right to the video clip that I wanted it to go to. Um, the way I zoomed in here is by holding down the control key and using the scroll wheel on my mouse. It's just another quick way to uh, zoom in and out on the timeline. So control, zoom in and out. It's the same as pressing the plus and minus keys on here. Um, also, if another shortcut for going towards to the end of your video clip is just to hold down the scroll wheel on your mouse and move from right to left. That's kind of a quicker way to navigate around the timeline. Anyway, I'm going to click and move this back to where I wanted it in the first place. And now we see it's going to, going to play two seconds. I can click this button to go to the beginning. It'll play two seconds of this and then jump right into here. Hey guys, Rendon here again with TJ Free. And so you see I was like clearing my throat and <clears throat> kind of blinking my eyes and doing some crazy stuff. And so I needed to... Uh, uh, I, I'm, if I'm going to use this part of the video, I want to cut that beginning part out. So I can go back and I can, here's a good way to do it is just press the space bar and go to the point of the video where you want to have the cut start, then press space bar again. I'm about to talk there. I might back it up just a little bit and then go to my razor tool. And if we see over here, when we hover over the razor tool, it tells us what it is. And it says there's also a shortcut key to get to it, which is C. So if we just press C, on our keyboard, it automatically selects the razor tool. <clears throat> and to get back to our pointer, we can hover over. There's a shortcut V to get back to the pointer. So we can toggle between V and C to change what tool we're on. We can also just click on the tool, but uh, just be aware that there, those shortcut keys are going to help speed up your video editing. So when razor tool is selected, we just hover over this red line where the playhead is and click, and that will uh, cut that portion of the clip. I should mention, we don't have to do it over the playhead. If we come over here and just click, we can actually cut anywhere we want to. That's too many cuts, we probably don't want those, so I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo, well, all of those except for the first one. And then we'll go back to our pointer tool. We'll click and make sure that just this area is highlighted. And then we can press the Delete key, but then we have a gap in our in our video clip, so we can just click here and drag and move that back there to get rid of that gap. Or if I hit Control Z, there's another way we can delete this called Ripple Delete. And what Ripple Delete does is basically that whole process in one step. It deletes the clip and then it sucks this portion of the video clip up to over here. 
To do ripple delete, just right click and go to ripple delete. And so we see that deleted it and it moved the clip over right to where we wanted it. So now when we play this, um, it's just gonna play two seconds of this board. Hey guys, Rendon here again. And then jump right into me talking. And now maybe we'll cut this part too. I'll grab my razor tool, come over here, cut this, grab, go, go back to my pointer tool, click this, and I can do a hit delete on my keyboard or I can right click and just go to delete. Now let's suppose I wanna put this clip over here. I wanna copy it and have it have another instance of it um, playing. There's a couple ways we can do that, but um, the easiest thing to do is just do the, con the copy, control C on our keyboard to copy this clip when it's selected in blue like it is now. And then we just go to the point where we want it to begin. So we put the playhead maybe right here. Well, we could do it right here. We might as well do it right at the end of this. And then we press control V on the keyboard. And so now we have this clip at the start. It plays this intro video, and then it plays that exact same two seconds of that clip right here. And we can just keep pressing control V and get a lot of different instances of that if we really wanted to. Um, we could also cut, so I, I'm gonna select this and hit the delete key. To cut this, maybe we wanna move it from here to here without dragging it like that. What we can do is we can cut this. So we can go control uh, X on our keyboard and then go to the point where we want it to be and then press control V. So control X and control V are the kind of universal shortcuts for copy and paste and control C for control C copy, <clears throat> control X for cut and control V for paste. But if you don't wanna do that, we can also just right click and I believe we can go to cut, yeah. And so we can go cut there, then we can right click again and go to paste, or we can right click and go up to copy, and then we can right click and go paste. So there's multiple ways of performing this operation. You can always right click and do it, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. Um, what else were we gonna cover in this video? I should mention, so whatever is selected, let's talk about selection a little bit. Whatever is uh, selected here, I'm gonna hold down the control and scroll wheel in to zoom in on my timeline a little bit. So let's say I wanna select both of these clips and, um, and copy both of them. So what I could do, well, let's grab another. We have another video, don't we? Oh, we have audio. Um, let's let's bring in an, another instance of, uh, or yeah, this video right here. Let's bring in this and put this video right here. And then I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So let's say I wanna move, I want this and this to be moved to the end. I will need to select them both at the same time. So we can left click to select this one. We could just move them, move this one like this and then grab this one and move it and do it that way. But uh, a better way to do that would be to select this keyboard one and then hold down the uh, shift key and click this clip here. Now they're both selected. So now any operation we apply will apply to both of them. If we hit the delete key, they both get deleted. I'll hit control Z to bring them back. And I have to reselect them again. Click, hold down shift and click. Uh, if I want to move them, I can just left click and drag and move them both to the end. And now they've both been moved to the end. Or I could do right click and go to uh, cut and then go put the playhead right where I want them to be pasted and then right click and go to paste and then they appear there. <clears throat> so just be aware that you can, uh, holding down the shift key, you can select multiple clips at once. Um, let's say we had this on its own track, like we learned in the last video. We have a couple different tracks here. I'm gonna be careful not to overlap my audio. So let's say we have something like this going on. And um, what I wanna do is just, maybe I wanna delete like all these things at the end, but I want it to be cut. Uh, what I could do is use this tool over here, this edit tool. So if we click on the edit tool, what it lets us do is select so we can still just click points in here, but it lets us select certain uh, parts of the video. So if we left click and hold, you see there's like a gray box there, that darker box. So everything within this box is what we're applying our changes to now. So we hit the delete key, it'll delete all of that, but keep the portion here, keep the portion here. So control Z. So if I wanna just cut off everything, I, I'm still on my selection tool, not my pointer tool. So I'll left click, and highlight all of this. So everything highlighted will be deleted if I delete it, if I press the delete key. 
So then it just kind of trims it there. Maybe I want to delete this first part here. So it's, I can just highlight all of this and hit the delete key and it just gets rid of it. It's kind of a, a different way of doing, instead of using the razor tool, it's a different way of, uh, of kind of selecting and, and doing that. But we can also do, we can just select all of this now without having to do shift. And then we can go control C to copy, come over to a different part of the project and do control V and we can paste that same thing over here again. So we can play, again, we kind of play this thing we did, a bunch of blank space, and it gets to this next part again. Hey guys, Rendon. Um, I think that's all the tools we're, we're gonna talk about right now, but feel free to, to, to come in here and just hover over and play. You've probably already done this a little bit. You know, hover over, read what the tool is, and experiment with it. Um, we're gonna be doing some more of these um, in, the, in future tutorials. But for now, that should hopefully get you going with um, cut, copy, paste, and delete, and then also that ripple delete. Um, so go ahead and play with those, get familiar with them. Uh, leave your questions in the comments below if you have any, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.